everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm talking about the other major thing that happened in um, Fugitive of the Jadoon, which was the return of Captain Jack out of nowhere. So yes, there'd been major rumours of a returning character um, in this episode, but we really didn't know who they were going to be. The fact that um, John Barrowman had retweeted a tweet about this kind of suggested maybe it could be him, but you never really want to believe it. And given the fact we hadn't seen him since, well, a brief cameo in the end of time in Newsday 2010, so over 10 years since we'd actually last seen him in Doctor Who, it felt quite unlikely that he was actually going to happen. But there's something they did. They, they did a brilliant reveal through having his voice first and then him appearing on screen, kind of saying hello to the audience as much as to the Doctor, or who he thought was the Doctor, but actually Graham, of course. Um, and then yeah, just has some brilliant scenes with both Graham, or, or Graham rather than Yaz, through sort of scenes slotted into this episode a little bit. Um, as I said in my review, I don't feel like this was, it was necessarily, it, not that it was bad that he was there. It was great that he was there, but it was a bit of an odd way to integrate it into the episode because it felt like this kind of plot line had nothing to do with the real story of this episode. And it was actually just about kind of getting, getting Jack into, the, uh, getting Jack a cameo and getting him the chance to, offload some mysterious information about the rest of the series or maybe a future series to come or something in terms of this whole lone Cyberman, which I'll come on to a little bit later. But it was still great to see Captain Jack back on screen and he still feels completely like Captain Jack. He, like, he hasn't changed at all. He looked a little bit older, which will just... I don't know how we'll explain that given he's supposed to not age, given he's immortal, but we'll, we'll roll with it. It's actually fine. Um, but he, yeah, just immediately he completely grabbed the screen presence, as, as he always did really when he was back in the show back in the 2000s, um, and was just, just so brilliantly Jack, even with the, the dialogue that maybe wasn't always the most perfect dialogue in the world. We say it wasn't bad, but I guess it just wasn't perfect, but it still felt like he pulled it off so brilliantly. And yeah, it just, it just felt such fun and excitement to have Captain Jack back in the show again. In the end, it turned out to be a fairly brief um, scene. He probably only had, I don't know, five or six minutes of screen time maybe in this episode, and then obviously teleported away to try and not get caught by the nanogenes. Love the reference to the nanogenes, I must say. It was great to see just, just little things like that being thrown back into the show with, with something from obviously Captain Jack's first ever episode um, in, the, in the series, back in series one, The Empty Child and the Doctor Dances, and having that as a reference was really, really cool. Um, and yeah, he, so he had a pretty short appearance and then disappeared. And so I feel like it's pretty likely that he'll come back again. Otherwise, it really will feel like a pointless cameo that was literally just used as a plot device to tease later in the series and nothing else. Um, which I wouldn't hate because it's Captain Jack, but it also would feel a bit of a waste of having him back and just doing that and not even meeting the Doctor. I think that's the key thing. He didn't get to meet the Doctor in this episode. So I just feel like they can't really... Given the scene that seems like Chris that wants, wants to get Captain Jack back involved in the program, obviously Chris um, show ran a couple of series of Torchwood essentially, so he was very closely working with John Barrowman back 10, 12 years ago. Um, well, yeah, probably 12, 15 years ago nearly on, on Torchwood back then. Um, and he, it, so it feels like there's a good connection there, which would certainly suggest he may come back for, for future episodes, or at least a future, maybe in the finale, for example. Um, I'm pretty sure he spent a fair amount of time in Cardiff back in earlier in the year. He did pretend and lie about some house renovation or something that was actually why he was in Cardiff, which was all just a ruse. Um, but then he ultimately did as well because he just had to try and keep the facade going because he was so desperate to keep it hidden, um, which is really, really great and was really cool and meant it was really, really satisfying when he did appear. But it felt like he spent enough time in the UK or in Cardiff that it would be more than just the filming of those scenes, which can't take him more realistically than a few days because that was a pretty short and only one set sequence. It, it, I can't imagine it would have taken that long to film it, and yet he was there for quite some time. So that's it's just that's just a guesswork, but that would maybe suggest that he's in a future episode as well and he's more involved in something. And I think it would just make sense, given he gets a reference at the end as well when um, the Doctor says that time swirling around me, the return of Captain Jack, the Master, and um, Ruth and everything, and all of that. So it all suggests that I think we might see Captain Jack again. I'm certainly very hopeful of that. But we also, of course, have to talk about the things that he teased with his reveal. He talked about this lone Cyberman. What could this all be about? So, so we know we knew the Cybermen were returning um, in an episode later in the series. It implies it's only a Cyberman, not Cybermen. A single one is going to come back. That's when when the Cybermen are basically being completely destroyed, and nothing left of them. Basically, was what Captain Jack was certainly implying um, through his little his his sort of story. But that they could become big again if the Doctor gives in and gives this Cyberman whatever they want. Um, my guess, my theory may be that this Cyberman is some sort of like really destroyed, run down, last of the Cybermen type thing that maybe even has gained some sort of emotions now possibly um, and is begging the Doctor for help or for something in particular and the Doctor is probably going to give in because that's the Doctor. Um, and then it recreates the whole cyber, cyber race all over again. There's a whole army of Cybermen back in the show and then that creates the finale of the series, maybe. Um, that would kind of be my first initial guess or, or threat. There was also some weird dialogue about um, the Alliance sent something, something through time and space, um, which 
was a little bit confusing to try and stop this Cyberman or something, I think was the implication, which doesn't make a lot of sense. I know also we, ha we had the alliance in series five and with the Pan Pandora here opens that, that alliance, but I don't think that makes much sense to be the same alliance again. Um, so I thought it was, an odd, it was an odd phrasing to use the alliance that suggested some sort of alliance of people or races or something that wants to stop the Cybermen completely. Um, we'll have to see exactly how it all plays out there, but it certainly sounds there's a lot, a lot, a lot to it, should we say, and going to be quite something major at the end of the series. I did quite like that it felt like the parallels between um, what we saw from the face of Bo, who was implied to be Captain Jack way back when in 2007, um, when he did his whole You Are Not Alone moment, which is obviously going to be Captain Jack, um, and then having Captain Jack doing another sort of um, prophecy to what was meant to be the Doctor, but became the companions of the lone Cyberman. I thought that was just quite a cool sort of um, comparison between those two and kind of referencing that previous appearance, which is technically in Captain Jack's future as well, which is just crazy to think about and confusing. But I thought that was, that was quite well done and at least gave Captain Jack a reason to be there, even if it was kind of just as a plot device to offload some information to an extent. But it was still great to see him. So yes, I'm hopeful that we'll get Captain Jack back later in the series, but you never quite know really with Doctor Who exactly what they're going to do with it. Maybe it'll be next series, maybe he'll never come back, but I'm very, very hopeful that he will. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video um, about Captain Jack and his return. Let me know in the comments below if you're pleased to see Captain Jack back and would you like to see him again in the series. Also your theories on the Lone Cyberman Man and exactly what that's going to all be about. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. But as always guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again very soon for another video. Goodbye!